Can you believe that Christian McCaffrey is said on my hit? team? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah that it? too. I still pinch myself. I was actually in the hot tub with Christian and Chase Young. I was like, this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Super fun though. He talked about how he was insecure about being a, a all around back. Do you think that's crazy? He's insecure about that. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's fun. No, I mean, why was he insecure about it, Jennifer? Because did you bully him? I did not. <laughs> okay. He has been described as a slot receiver as opposed to being an all-around back, so he wanted to make sure when he got here that he was used as a full all-around running back as opposed to just a receiver. Oh, I mean, there's a couple ways you could slice that. Um, I would say the more you can do is always better. Uh, you can use you more ways. You can the ball more ways, affect defenses in more ways. Especially when you're a guy like Christian, I mean, I don't really see any other running back in the NFL lining up in a slot and running double move routes for touchdowns, running comebacks, uh, running our, you know, our slant concepts, things like that. I don't really see any other running backs doing that. So um, you can call him, you know, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he's one of a kind, and he's probably the best in the world to do what he does. Kyle has compared him to Steph Curry before, saying that because of the threat that he can you know, pose with everything. He, there's like a gravitational pull toward him. It, do, do you feel that when you're, you're you're running pass patterns? I feel like Kyle said that because he's the shortest on the field. But <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't miss that one. That was wow. too easy. That, wow. was, I, that, was, <laughs> that was way too easy. Wow. What's wrong uh, with short? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> That's brutal. Come on, man. Uh, I'm on one today. Um, no, 100%. When you're when you have a guy like Christian who you're in the backfield. He motions out. He's like five yards off the line of scrimmage in a wide receiver stance. Like he does all these different things, and you have to account for him because if he gets the ball at, he get the ball behind the line of scrimmage and it can be a touch, and you get the ball five yards down the field. Like he can score from anywhere. And so as a defense, you know, Andy's running back. So it's like, all right, well, are you going to line up a linebacker on him? Okay, are you going to line up a nickel on him? Well, how are you going to cover the other four guys in the field? And he does have that, you know, gravitational pull. And I think that's a really good way to put it. Um, you know, I think and you put Debo in the same situation when he's in the backfield. You know, people are like, oh, okay, well, how are we going to guard that guy out of the backfield? You're going to leave a linebacker one on one. And so it just allows, uh, you know, everyone else just to get these awesome one on one matchups. And Christian still wins on those. Debo wins on them. Ayuk wins on them. I win on them. Uh, Juwan always wins. So uh, it's just we have a really good plethora of players. And uh, yeah, having a guy like Christian definitely helps. George, they have a lot of uh, linebacker injuries. Um, Some would say. Yeah. Uh, it would seem like you might have some favorable matchups. What do you, what do you, how do you view what they, who they might have, have out there on the field Sunday? Um, I mean, you never want to lose your, you know, your top players. You don't want to lose your starters. It uh, definitely puts you at a you – know, I don't want to say a disadvantage because you don't know the guys that are going to you know, get in there. And um, you know, those guys could step up and play the best game of their lives. Um, you know, it's the NFL. Everybody gets paid. Um, Yes, or, you know, if you're supposed to beat a backup, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to any time I get a linebacker matchup. I don't care if it's Fred Warner or someone's practice squad guy. Like, I love linebackers. Like, that's really fun for me. So, um, yeah, whatever you know, they put out there, I think, you know, like, you know, the previous question, like, we just have a lot of guys out there. So, if you're going to leave a bunch of linebackers all over the place, uh, you know, I'd love to see that. You know, if it works really well for them, it works really well for them. Like, I play, you know, they coach, they game plan, and I'm just excited to see how they guard us. It's been a game plan, just the vibe from last year, guys talking about even Brock just now, last year's game plan against them. Everyone was supremely excited to play that game and see how that game plan worked. Mm -hmm. Did you share that feeling? You know what? Um, every time I walk in on a Wednesday or a Thursday to see Kyle's install, I'm always pretty excited. Um, there's some really fun stuff in there. Sometimes I tell him that it's a lot and he needs to dial it back a little bit. Um, and, he, you know, he does a good job with that, too. But, you know, I look forward to every single game because you never know. Um, you know. He goes back like the Cincinnati Bengals game plan. You know, he thought Debo, I think it was Debo. I think Debo is still healthy for that. Or is he back yet? Was he Debo? Any idea? Cincy? No. I don't know, he said he said that he thought someone else was going to have a huge game, and I ended up with like 100 plus yards, right? And so like, he, you never really know what's going to pop. Kyle just kind of feels it. He puts out a bunch of stuff that he thinks is going to work, and then when he feels like someone has a favorable matchup, he just attacks it. And so, uh, it's just fun to be, you know, Kyle's game plans are just really fun to be a part of because, you know, yeah, I've had games where I've had one catch, and I've had games where I've had 15. So you know, whatever whatever happens, happens. And um, but yes, to answer your original question, I was excited last year. I'm excited this year. It's going to be fun. George, how long did it take you to flush what happened in Philly last year? Um, I don't know. I, pretty quickly. Um, week? I don't know. I, 
I kind of flush everything pretty quickly. Uh, you know, every single week, whether it's win or loss, whether it's last week's install, it's flushed completely. I don't even, you could ask me about a play last week. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, the new football season, I don't really reminisce too much on it. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really, I couldn't tell you. I haven't really thought about it. When you it see highlights like, or anything like that from that game, does it kind of rekindle any emotions, any feelings from? No, I mean, game that we lost. Um, is what it is. We lost. They won. On to the next one. The kind of common refrain in this locker room this week has been, you know, this is a new year. Mm -hmm. We don't want to think about that game. Is there is that colored at all by the potential that you guys could play again at some point this season? Uh, I mean, I think guys are just, I think we've done a really, really good job of being focused on one game at a time. I think the guys are just trying to do that. Um, you know, I think there's more media people this week of practice I've seen all year. Uh, you guys tend to, you know, make things a little bit bigger than they are. It's a week 13 game. Um, yes, it's against the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, they're the one seed. We're fighting for potential seeding. Yes, that's all big. And I 100% agree with you guys there. I don't think it really has anything to do with last year. I actually saw a clip from their head coach who talked about that. He just said that, hey, last year is last year. There's different teams, different coaches. You know, we've got one of their best players in Hargrave on our roster now. And hey, it's just, it's a different game. And, and I'm not really holding on to anything that happened last year. It was a football game. We lost. They uh, get better and figure out a way to win. Speaking of different nice games, one, are you have anything with, with Moody on this Michigan Iowa game Saturday night? Are you trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> oh, I just your lockers are so close. Uh, you're an Iowa guy, he's a Michigan. You're surrounded by Michigan people. By I know I can't get away from Tracy, not once in my oh, life. Yeah. Yeah, this guy of here. Course. No, I got uh, yeah, Moody, we got uh, Ronnie, Tracy, yes. Um, for some reason, I think I need 10 to 1 odds. Um, no, nah, I'm kidding. I'm looking forward to the game. It's going to be really fun to watch that one. But, uh, yeah, you know, they don't ever stop talking about how good they are. It's really fun. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, George.